On to our first numbers <laughs> round. OK, I'm John and Sarah, your turn to pick the numbers. <laughs> Sean, <laughs> Miles. <laughs> Sean and Miles, I won't say it again. Fingers on lips. <laughs> hands on heads. Pay attention, it's the numbers okay. round. Yeah, ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Were you ready? No. Uh, he'd brought up Hitler. <laughs> he was whispering to me about Hitler. What, why was he whispering to you about Hitler? He said, I don't know about you, Miles, I'm on the fence. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, no Sean. I was about to say, no Sean. No. I'm a bit like the Swiss during the Second World War, OK? I can see the good side and the bad side. <laughs> I'm going to stay neutral. <laughs> yeah? OK, on to our first... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> John was about good, actually. He's been... He put his arm around me. He was like, it's going to be all right. Yeah. And let's just stress that but I'll, I'll put my arm around you in a very much metaphorical sense. Yeah, you touch <laughs> No physical contact. I don't, it's, it's like no wags. No touching before countdown. <laughs> I assume you've not, not had sex for a week. I've not done anything for this, so I didn't realise that was part of the deal. <laughs> What's happened so far is you've written down the 75 times tables and said, I can have a look at it, if it helps. <laughs> I think we need to go back to the principles of maths, cos while I was writing that down, you leant over and said to me, you just add in 75 each time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry to interrupt, but are we allowed to just write down loads of times tables? You can write down all the numbers in front of you and just, just look at the numbers. That's... So I can use this. I have no idea about that. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It's a calculator. <laughs> With added fun. <laughs> <laughs> I get a lot of stick for being a nerd on this show, but I'd like to point out that you just used the phrase added fun, which implies you think a calculator is quite fun already. <laughs> Sean, have you got a mascot? No, I don't have a mascot. I've got a an amazing trick I'm going to perform, a feat of prediction. I've written a word down in this envelope, and at some point in the show, someone's going to come up with that word. It's going to come up on that board. I'm going to give this to Rachel, and if Rachel will be so kind, she can open the envelope, and the word that will be up on the board there will be in this envelope. An incredible mind trick. Well, it's that word, yeah. It's predictive power. And it won't be... It won't necessarily... Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, we don't need to retake that, do we? That was... I don't think anyone noticed anything. <laughs> yeah, I think you styled it out there, Sean. Nice one. <laughs> you can see why magicians have a sort of patter and a sort of way of doing these. You'd be so kind as... Oh, shit! <laughs> Okay. So when I say, I'll give you the nod, right, you there. open that and it'll be a... Mate, I'd better look where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> You're nine, John? Well, Jimmy, I do a lot of building work on the right. weekends. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll knock through someone like that. <laughs> and when you're putting a beam in a house, you can't just put it in, you've got to obey the beam rules. <laughs> and that's it, beam rules. <laughs> Susie, Bean Rules is in there, right? Ready? Yeah, it's, it's in. <laughs> Not really. Are you, you can't lie to me. <laughs> I did try. I thought you could have a drink and then I could tell you. I genuinely oh. believed you. I did. Yeah. <laughs> the amazing thing is, I'd like you now to open that card, <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> I think you'd find the word in there is Bean Rules. <laughs> Okay, well, this is extraordinary. I mean, this, this is, is extraordinary. Okay, that no one has seen that card move. We've all been keeping an eye on it. It's got Santa on it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say, Rachel? It... To you, Brian and Margaret. Merry Christmas. <laughs> 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 You pair of tosses. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Sean from Make the Door. <laughs> Sean, sure, what's. I know what, I know what happened now. That Brian and Margaret have got a card with beam rules in it. <laughs> I suppose in the long run it's better. 
<laughs> nobody will understand the amazing feats that I performed here today. <laughs> <laughs> and Brian and Margaret, they won't give you the card back, cos we don't get on. <laughs> it's a long-running conifer dispute. <laughs> it got pretty ugly, cos it's shade and roots. <laughs> Uh, Rachel, you must get recognised by your fans all the time. Do you ever wish you could sort of fly under the radar? Um, my favourite time of the year is when I just get to go skiing and you haven't got to do your hair and makeup, you haven't got to have all that awkwardness. Just put your helmet on, put your snood on, no makeup, it's great. And actually, I've brought my skiing stuff with Let's me, actually, look. if I just make See, myself more I'm, comfortable. I'm pretty sure I would recognise um, you in skiing gear. So I've got um, a beard and a uh, Viking horns. <laughs> and um, this is kind of my look so much more comfortable and it's warm and um, you just don't have to have that awkward social like, is that you, is it not, how's, how's Jimmy, that kind of thing. That's a challenging wank. Sorry. I've been doing a bit of research on you this week. I did a little bit of research online and I found a fun fact about you. Uh, John's trademark is his cardigans. <laughs> That's it. Got me again. Um, <laughs> are there any other fun facts about you? Uh, I'm a very keen dogger. <laughs> <laughs> Do you sing when you go dogging? Uh, no, I have headphones in. I don't know. <laughs> no, I just wondered how you... Other doggers know that you're into dogging and you're not just a rambler. I think they just meet in the same place. They don't yodel across a forest. To <laughs> <laughs> the calling call. I don't you so. flash your headlights or you. Dogging! Dogging! Like an old <laughs> cries, you know, like market cries, like, you know, <laughs> fish for sale, dogging. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dogging, I'm dogging to the tune of jamming. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dogging, I'm dogging, I'm dogging, I'm dogging. I hope you like dogging too. <laughs> Sean, you're a fine figure of a man. How do you stay in such a remarkable condition? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, really, Jimmy. I mean, I've got a tapeworm. That helps. <laughs> 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 that, uh, that certainly helps. Well, I call him Charlie. So go on, Charlie, that's for you. Look. <laughs> <laughs> you know that 12% uh, of the people in this country have got a tapeworm? Really? Which actually makes them more popular than dogs. As a pet, yeah. How do you get a tapeworm? Do you eat a worm and off it stays pork, in you? Don't you? Yeah. You get it off pork. Do you? Yeah. Always pork. Yeah, always pork. <laughs> <laughs> you get it off a, off pork or and not off anything else. No, no, no. Another victory for the corn brigade. I've got a song about it. <laughs> if you want to get a tapeworm, eat some pork. <laughs> If you want to get a tapeworm, eat some pork, oink, oink. lamb, chicken, beef, fish or egg, forget <laughs> it, you won't get a tapeworm. <laughs> Can someone upstairs Google if you get tapeworms from pigs? How do pigs get them? They get them from other pigs. <laughs> <laughs> You can only get them. How many times do I have to explain it? <laughs> you can only get a tapeworm. <laughs> if you want to get a tapeworm, eat some pork. They eat pork and then they get it and they get it to the pork. So, who, which came first, the, well, the tapeworm or the pig? Well, it was the Big Bang, actually. What happened was it in the Big Bang. <laughs> All the tapeworms flew into the pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Some people say this version of Countdown is less intelligent than <laughs> Sean, news just in, uh, you can get tapeworms from beef. <laughs> well, it's a... uh, I just said you. <laughs> I just say I'd say one thing. Google can go f itself. <laughs> <laughs> Google, you start paying your taxes, <laughs> I'll start listening to your facts. <laughs> Google start paying your taxes, <laughs> you dirty, slimy bastard. <laughs> you can only get 